Hello everyone. So in this video, we're going to be going over a sawtooth ramp, how to create a sawtooth ramp, uh, which is adjustable so you can define the period um, of how many times you want it to repeat, basically. So um, what we're gonna need for this video is uh, matplotlib and uh, and also some logic in order to create something that goes um, basically a, repeat, a ramp that goes, you know, starting from zero to some value and then dropping down back to zero. So that would be one period. And then you can repeat it however many times you want. So we're going to first start with our import statements as always. So we are going to do import. And then import, you can give any name to PyPlot. Uh, usually we use PLT, but we're going to use call it RA. Um, first, we need to set up our data, right? What we want to plot. So let's start off with an empty array. And then our endpoint where we want our ramp to uh, go to, like in steps of one. So we can do end. So we'll call it endpoint. Goes like for now, we'll do 10, right? And we need something that uh, basically, basically we need something that uh, toggles, right? So we want, um, you want to go from zero to 10 and back down to zero. So you need some kind of Boolean to tell you that either you're incrementing or decrementing. So we'll name that uh, going up. And starting off, it's going to be true, so we'll do. And in Python, you know, true um, in some languages, I guess, uh, this in Python, the, in order to do the true keyword, the T has to be capital, T-R-U-E, right? Then, you know, then you get the green there. If you did lowercase, it will not turn green. So just another hint there, uh, something to consider. Uh, cycles. So how many times do you want it to repeat that particular sequence, right? Um, so for now, we'll say like we want to do three times. Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah, three times. And then uh, we'll have uh, the starting data, right? Starting data, uh, we'll call it i equals zero. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to set up um, a while loop. Um, and uh, this is going to be like um, how much data you want to collect and then ultimately show uh, or plot uh, as being a ramp. So um, we'll set up a while loop while uh, cycles um, or equal to three. And actually, after cycles have to be zero. So this is a, a, a cycle would be going from zero to your endpoint. So in this case, it would be going from zero to 10. And then the next cycle would be going down from 10 to zero, right? Um, and so uh, like for this one, it would be zero, one, two, and three. So, uh, cause we didn't less than or equal to three. So actually for starting off, we'll just do one period. One period is gonna be two cycles, right? In order to do two cycles, it's going to be less than or equal to one, right? So, yeah, so uh, let's see here. First thing we're going to do is our append our data, right? So we're starting off at zero. So append to our array the data. And then if we have our a Boolean there going up, so we do going up, if going up, then increment, increment our data. So we're going from zero to 10, right? So zero, one, two, three, and then all the way up to 10. And then um, also, and then else, otherwise if it's false, you know, you wanna go down downward. So you go I minus equal one. And then we have to tell it when to flip the flag, right? Flip, flip the balloon flag. So if either you're at zero, right? Or you reach the endpoint, right? If you reach the endpoint, um, 
then uh, you're going to flip the flag, right? So it, it, starting off, it was true. Then you're going to switch it, right? Going up equals. And then the keyword is not. Uh, like in Java, it would be like excl exclamation point. But in Python, it's the not keyword. You spell it out. And this, is, this one is lowercase. So not, and then going up. Flipping it, and then cycle. Oh, then we're going to have to update the cycles as well because uh, we actually went up, you know, either, uh, um, and uh, starting off, the i is going to be zero. So you're appending zero, and then it's going to be one. So this won't, it'll reach, the next time it'll reach it is when i equals the endpoint. So when it reaches 10, uh, flip, you know, we're going to go the other direction, and then increment the cycles as well. And... And this is good for the other 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 side too. So uh, it equals ten, and then basically we are going to do, um, and then that's basically it. Uh, we're going to plot the data, plot the data, and then let's hit uh, let's let's hit run. Uh, let's hit it one more time, and there we go. Um, yeah, so there's one cycle. Actually, didn't quite get to zero. Um, let's, see here. Uh, let's actually bump this up to three. Yeah, so the last point is not showing up here. Um, which is because it, we're not doing an append, uh, we can do here. Um, lastly, we can just do after the while loop, we can just do data dot append uh, i as well. Then it'll be good. It's not adding the zero or 10, so it'll get up to 10. Um, and then you just need to add that at the end. So then you get the last thing. So this is, yeah, so basically you have two periods here. Um, one period, and then five would be three periods, right? And then you can also change the endpoint rate. So you can make this 50, for example. So something really simple, uh, sawtooth ramp, uh, adjustable, how many periods you want to show display. Uh, you could do half a period. Half a period would just be cycles less than one. That would be half a period, right? And then full period. Be, this is a full period. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this uh, simple, you know, sawtooth ramp uh, display in Matplotlib. And uh, any comments, suggestions would be really helpful. And uh, uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.